Are you going to read it? I, we don't have access to the actual agreement. That's Secretary of State John Kerry facing tough questions yesterday, including the secret side deal with Iran. With us now... Former NATO Supreme Allied Commander, now the Dean of the Fletcher School at Tufts University, retired Admiral James Tabritis. Very good to have you on board Admiral, this a lot morning. of fireworks on the hill. hill. That we, was something. We, if you were advising a congressperson or a senator on what they needed to ask about this deal, what would be the main issue for you? I think the top is the verification regime, which is starting to roughly resemble Swiss cheese. Uh, you could drive a truck through some of these holes, and I am very concerned about that. Okay, I have why, a lot why, of respect why, why for the why, negotiations. Why do you say that? What do you see that, that concerns you about uh, the, the inspections? Well, as the segment just illustrated, first this side deal, we need to have access to it and understand it. Reportedly, it puts Iran in the position of actually proffering samples as opposed to have them actually taken by the IAEA. I haven't read that side deal, but I want to, and I sure hope the Congress reads it. Secondly, the 24-day period is very concerning. And thirdly, it, the entire zeitgeist of the agreement at this point seems to very much favor the Iranians in pursuing the bomb. But look, that's really not the problem. The biggest problem here is the airdrop of 100 to 150 billion dollars into their economy which is only 350 billion to begin with that's like the US getting a 4 trillion dollar insertion of capital that's the teeth of the alligator you just heard about those are two big concerns that are hard to get by mm. so general if this deal is not validated uh, here by the United States Senate and if the deal fails and if sanctions are immediately lifted in the wake of the deal failing uh, what do you think the timeline would be for Iran's access to capability for a nuclear weapon as well as Iran's being able to have more money injected into their economy? Would it, would it, be, would it be longer or shorter if the deal fails? I think it'll be shorter. Uh, on the other hand, I think the U.S. still can drive uh, some degree of sanctions. We have a fair amount of control over a good deal of the frozen assets within our own national sovereignty. It's possible we could get some of the Europeans, notably France, to go along with us. There are cyber options to pursue. There are clandestine options to pursue. There are special forces options to pursue. I reject the notion that the choice is simply between this deal and going to war. All right, Admiral, stay with us if you can.